Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video. This week we're going to be talking about found sounds. If you remember back to February, we watched a clip of a video called Stomp in which the people in the movie used different everyday objects that you might find lying around your house to create music. Uh, so one of the reasons that that worked so well is because those musicians took time to practice and all of their rhythms worked together to make sure that the final product sounded like it was intentional and not just somebody banging a broom on the floor or um, things like that. So uh, this week in our found sounds lesson, your job is going to be to find some found sounds. Your first task in this project is to find uh, four to six things that you in your house that you think would make some different sounds. Uh, some guidelines while you are selecting your instruments uh, please make sure that it is something that you have permission to use. Um, make sure that it's something that you can use safely without breaking it. Um, and make sure that you ask your parents or siblings permission if you are borrowing anything uh, from their stuff. As you choose your items, think about the materials that the items are made of as well as the size of the items. Both of those factors can have a great impact on what sounds your instruments have. So here are some examples of some sounds that I found in my house. Um, I found a coffee mug. I found a uh, metal container that has cardboard around the sides, but metal on the top. I found a, a container that's entirely metal. And then here's a container that has cardboard all the way around, including on the top. I found a wooden box. And I made a couple of shakers that have some different materials in it. One has popcorn, unpopped popcorn, and the other one has some lentils in it. All right, so hopefully task one is complete and you have selected your instruments. Uh, so what I'm going to start by doing is, so this is step two, uh, you're going to set up your instruments into a display um, so that you have pretty easy access to all of them. You want to make sure that um, they're nice and close by because um, you will be playing some of these instruments. So I'm making my little setup over here. All right, so uh, I'm gonna pick this up here. All right, so for step two of your project, you're gonna also wanna make sure that you have a couple pencils. Um, they don't have to be sharpened. They don't have to be anything fancy, um, just to use as a steady object to show me what your different instruments sound like. Uh, so I'm going to take one, and I'm going, so this is part two, so part one was selecting your instruments, part two is you're just going to give me a quick demonstration of each instrument and what they sound like. Um, so I'm going to start with the oatmeal, okay, and then here's the box, here's the mug, here's the cardboard can with the metal top and here's the container that is all metal then finally um with the shaker so you'll notice like i said earlier we have popcorn in one and lentils in the other so the lentils as you can see kind of have a rounded shape and they're pretty flat where the popcorn has more of that teardrop shape with that pointy edge to it um, so I'm going to go ahead and shake each one for you. And before I do that, I want you to make a prediction as to how they're going to sound different from one another. So the, as you can see, the containers are the same size. There's about the same amount, um, using a measuring cup's worth of the popcorn and the lentils. So take a, take a prediction about what you think it's going to sound like. All right, so here's the popcorn. And here's the lentils. All right, so step two, it should be complete, so that is demonstrating each of your instruments for me. Uh, for this particular assignment, what I would like you to do is take a video of you using Flipgrid. I understand you use that in Spanish. Um, so you'll be able to upload your video to Flipgrid. So all you need to do in the video is just demonstrate each of those sounds for me, and I'm gonna be looking for four to six different sounds. If you wanna do more, you are absolutely welcome to, I'm sure. Uh, you have lots of interesting things at your house that you could use to make some music. All right, we are moving to the floor um, so that you can see my instruments as I play them. Uh, so one additional task you can complete is to create your own rock beat. Um, so just to give you an, a basic idea of the rock beat, 
I'm gonna take my two pencils. So we are using our imaginations. Um, so we're gonna pretend that this box is the bass drum of a drum set. Um, so that's the, so the players actually play that by uh, hitting a pedal with their foot that hits the drum, and that's what makes the low bass sound. And then we're gonna use my coffee can here um, with the metal bottom, um, just because I like the metal sound for this. Um, so that's gonna be like our cymbals. So if you watch a rock band drummer um, or any many other kinds of music that involve a drum set, you'll notice that there's a steady beat followed with some accent sounds. So let's start with just a steady beat on the, whatever you're gonna use as your bass drum more or less. So then with my other hand, I'm going to, on the same drum, I'm going to keep my steady right hand and I'm gonna play every other beat with my other pencil. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So anytime you say two or four, you're gonna be hitting with your opposite hand. So when you're feeling comfortable with that, go ahead and switch your two and four to a different instrument. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If you're feeling like another challenge, I challenge you to put your bass into eighth notes. So we're gonna go one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And then when you're ready, you can add your left hand. Ready, here I go. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And then when you're ready, go ahead and switch your other hand up to the cymbal. Uh, that's a basic rock beat that's commonly used in um, not just classic rock, but it's often used in pop music. It's used in country music. It's used in many of the genres that actually some of you have been uh, doing a little research on. Uh, so your final challenge activity is to pick a song to play your rhythm to. Uh, the song I chose is called My Generation by The Who. So I'm going to play that song. And I'm going to listen to it for a couple seconds to feel for the strong beat. And then I will go ahead and add my drumming in. I'll move this so you can hear it. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two. There's eighth note. Now I'm going to add some other sounds, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I hope you enjoyed finding your found sounds, and I hope that you challenged yourself to play that rock beat uh, either alone or with a piece of music. Uh, so again, for this assignment, you're going to find four to six found sound instruments around your house. You're going to send me a quick Flipgrid video of you demonstrating each of the sounds and that's the bare minimum. Um, and then if you would like to send, include in the video you trying to play that rock beat or um, you playing along with a song, I highly encourage that. This is also a great activity if you have sibling, like little siblings that are at home with you. Um, you can definitely recruit them to be part of your project. Uh, for really little kids, using a shaker is usually a great option. Um, so again, I just made a shaker with some leftover bean, dry beans. Um, so they can just shake it and it doesn't really matter if it goes with your beat. Um, so they can shake along with that. Um, or if you have a, like a half full can of something like oatmeal, um, you know, they can shake it around as well. Um, so feel free to include family on this. Um, if there, if you are a sibling of somebody who's in one of the other general music classes at St. James, uh, you're welcome to work together on this assignment, um, and submit yours together. So I don't have a problem with that. Um, and I think that is it. So thanks again for watching. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. I will have office hours on Thursdays from 10 to 10.30 for 5th and 6th grade and 10.30 to 11 for 7th and 8th grade. Uh, so happy playing. Um, and I will also share with you the link to Stomp if you want to watch a little more of that. Thanks for your time, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!